Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Today I am in Harajuku, Tokyo, in the infamous Takeshita Street. There's a lot of people here today, there's a lot of fun things to do, but I actually have a very special announcement in this video. I am going to be having my very own tour on buyfood.com, and this video is going to show you a few of the key spots that I'm going to be taking you guys on this tour. And if you're interested in joining this tour, I'm actually going to give you a little giveaway. So one person will have a chance to join this tour that I'm hosting for free. And if you're interested, you can follow along in the video and I'll give you a little keyword to type in the comments for a chance to win. So without further ado, let's go to my first Harajuku tour spot. Let's go. My first stop is just off of Takeshita Street and it's my favorite place in Tokyo to get cookies. It actually originated in New Zealand, but it's now in Harajuku. So let's go check it out. Here we are. I got the chocolate and s'more shake. It's got cookie crumbs on top. It's got ice cream and there's a gooey marshmallow and chocolate. It's got everything. Let's give it a try. Mmm, refreshing. The cookie crumbs make it extra thick too, I feel like. Let's try the s'mores. I like how it's on a straw as well. Oh, it's so gooey and soft. Mmm. 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 Honestly, the chocolate is really, really fudgy. The marshmallow is chewy. It's nice and warm. It goes really well with the cold ice cream shake. Honestly, this is so decadent. I freaking love cookie time. I have a fun little activity to do with you guys. I'm in front of Purikura Lando Noa. Purikura stands for print club, and basically they are Japanese photo booths. And they've been around since 1995, and they're a little bit fancier than photo booths in other countries, I'd say. But it's even more fun with people to take photos with, so my producer, Ellie, is gonna be joining me, yay! But it's not the first time they were taking Purikura together, No, right? we actually did the same photo booth earlier. Yeah, like, just last month? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, last yeah, month yeah. we did it together, so we've had yeah. some, some experience. And I have it in my room at a very special spot and I look at it every day. So you could have the same picture with Chizuka! I'm excited, so let's go take some photos and we'll have a nice little memory to keep. Here we are! Isn't this crazy? It's bustling, it's still the morning. And all the high schools are here right now, right? All because the high schools. Haru it's spring break, mm. and there's so many different machines to choose from. Mm. So which one should we go for? Maybe this, this one. one. Okay, actually. <gasps> this yeah. one's open. Okay, let's try this. So this is the kind of look that uh -huh. you can expect from the photos in this booth. Peach. Oh, this is peach themed. So peach makeup themed, basically. Cool. They'll put makeup on you in the after editing anyway, so you don't really okay. need to put on makeup. <laughs> let's go inside. Let's try. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go inside the studio and then we're going to take pictures with different poses and they usually give you some prompts and then afterward you get to edit the photo by putting like stamps and little stickers and designs, you can write on it. Oh Jesus, look at the... Look at the oh person. so you can choose the size of your eyes and it's okay, let's go. go. You only get 20 seconds to type in your email address so you can get a copy. Who is that? That doesn't look like me at all. It looks like an anime version of you. This is modern day Purikura. And honestly, you can make your eyes so big or you can even make them round or dark. So as you can see, there's a handy dandy scissor station. Yeah. So you can split them up. But actually, nowadays, I think they're designed so you can kind of just break them off. Rip it off? Mm. You don't even need scissors, scissors anymore. It's super cute. So you can keep this forever as a little memory. Yeah. So we got to remember at least one kawaii uh, pose today. You got to do the, <laughs> the duck lips and the poke your, your, <laughs> your cheek like this. So if you practice this, nail it, then we'll be able to do it at the next time when you guys join the tour. <laughs> OK, let's go and find some more food to eat. Yay! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> Check out these sunglasses. Ridiculous. I don't know what this look is. I don't even, I don't know. I don't even know how you coordinate this look. Um, and honestly, I don't think it will do anything for sun protection or eye protection whatsoever. <gasps> sushi bar. Again, very touristy, but I mean, I would wear sushi shock, uh, sushi shock, <laughs> sushi shock, 
Try saying that really fast. Sushi sock. Sushi sock. Sushi sock. I just can't even say it at all anymore. Oh, these are cute. Shiba shirts. I have a new tongue twister for you. Shiba shirt sushi shock. What? <laughs> Shiba shirt sushi sock. Shiba shirt sushi sock. Sushi sushi sock. Our next stop is the Rainbow Sandwich at Le Shiner. This is a rainbow food specialty shop which originates from Korea. And I think there's a, always been a really colorful fashion aspect in Harajuku. So I'm gonna try and get a rainbow grilled cheese sandwich. And it should look really good in photos. So very Instagrammable. All right, we're gonna do a cheese pull. I hope I can do this. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Is mozzarella cheese and it's really, really stretchy. It tastes like your standard grilled cheese sandwich. But honestly, who doesn't like grilled cheese? It's, I think everybody's gonna like this. Something fell on my head. What is that? Oh. Ah! No. What is it? Oh my god. <laughs> We are now in Urahara, which literally means the back of Harajuku. And personally, I think Urahara is actually a lot cooler than the front of Harajuku, like Takeshita Street. It's less touristy, it's more fashion oriented. So there's some really cool styles. And one of my favorite restaurants is actually right down the street. It's called Sakurate, and it's an okonomiyaki restaurant. And this shop is really cool because they've got a really awesome art theme. This restaurant has been around for about 40 years and before it was a restaurant it was actually a Japanese house but this area used to be the garden that's why they have some trees growing in this room because they didn't cut down all the trees and they just kept the trees growing inside and I love that. Welcome to the private room where we will be eating come on in. There's art on every single wall. And the fun thing about this restaurant is you get to cook the okonomiyaki by yourself. So today, I think I'm going to be getting their classic okonomiyaki, which is called the sakurayaki. And it's got lots of toppings, so I think it's gonna be really good. And the other thing I'm gonna get is the monjayaki. This is actually a version of okonomiyaki that was created in Tokyo. My favorite, favorite monja is called Odo Monja, and it's got mentaiko, spicy cod roe, rice cakes, and cheese. This is the ultimate combination. It's gonna be so good. Let's get it. So while we're waiting for the okonomiyaki to come, we've got our drinks, so let's do a kumpai all together. Kumpai! <laughs> let's start with our classic okonomiyaki. It's all a lot of fun, I promise. Look at this, there's so many different ingredients. We've got shrimp, mushrooms, pork, squid. So you basically you mix it all up and there's um, a batter in it made out of flour. Um, it's kind of like a savory pancake. This restaurant is really cool because they actually offer gluten-free okonomiyaki and vegetarian and vegan okonomiyaki options as well, which you cannot find everywhere. But I might have forgotten the actual steps, but as long as it tastes good, then you're doing it right. <laughs> so this is okonomiyaki sauce. In Japan, it's a special sauce that they just call sauce. Time for mayonnaise! While we let that cook just a little bit more, it's actually pretty much ready to eat already, but we're gonna throw the monja on the grill too. I'm gonna mix it just a little bit, but honestly, you don't need to mix it too, too much. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop up that cabbage. It's a ring. The reason why, you ask, it's so we can pour this stuff in the middle. You let it cook a little bit, and then you kind of mix it together. So we're gonna let that cook a little bit more. Let's dig into our okonomiyaki, because it's well beyond ready at this point. I've got Ellie here joining me for the meal, Yay. because what is okonomiyaki monja without, you, you know? You never do it alone. Right, you gotta eat it with friends. And I mean, this is a tour, so I'll be eating it with you guys, but uh, just to show you what it's gonna be like. Mmm! Ooh! You did great! So many ingredients. The dough is like really fluffy, mm -hmm. and mostly the flavor comes from the sauce, yeah. I think. It's really filling, mm -hmm. but it's not heavy. Yeah. So there's a lot of veggies, like cabbage and mm -hmm. everything, so I feel like all the ingredients are super light, but it really fills me up. Mm -hmm. It's piping hot and delicious. Honestly, the sakurayaki is really good because it's got everything. Mm -hmm. 
got little monja spoons. They're like tiny griddle paddles. But you can use this to eat it directly off of the grill. The last time I burnt my mouth when I was eating that curry durian. <laughs> yeah. And then you blow on the cake. Okay, here we go. Mm. I like the flavor, the spiciness of the mint. Right? Really nice cake. Also, what I love about this mixture is that it, it has chewy mochi in it. Yeah. So it's really like fun. really chewy, uh -huh. and the cheese and the mochi go together really well. Monjayaki might not be for everybody, but it's worth a try. And if you're gonna do yeah. it, I think this combination of flavors is probably the best one. It's a totally different experience. It's totally different. It's also fun to just scrape it, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it your first monja? Mm -hmm. mm. Second time? I changed my mind about monja after trying yours. Oh, I'm mm. so glad! Yeah. I'm so glad to hear that. When I was a university student, we had many parties here. Sometimes there were some mishaps. Like one time we accidentally left the mayo bottle on the edge like this. Maybe it had even fallen over and it was like that. And it melted! When we looked at it, it had, it had completely disformed and it was just... Um, it was not very good. We didn't get yelled at though, but I have a lot of memories here. So hopefully you guys can come here too and we can make some fun memories here too. There are a lot of really, really unique gachas in Japan these days and these are animals in the sauna and I just think it's so cute they got little towels I lost the money <laughs> it worked oh yes I got my sauna animal it really makes me want to collect them all because they're so cute gotcha <laughs> all right I have just decided what the secret phrase is going to be to join this tour the phrase is going to be I want sushi socks so yeah if you guys want to join this tour for free or have a chance to win this tour for free, make sure to type that down below and you'll be entered in the giveaway. And there's actually a couple of other food items that I didn't show you guys today that you guys can look forward to in the actual tour. So make sure to join the tour to find out what they are. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you want a free spot on the tour, make sure to type the secret phrase down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys very soon in another video and hopefully in person one day. See you guys, bye. <laughs>